Hey, what's up, Geeks? Duran here. Now, if you're interested in learning React Native, you can, there's a link in the description to our Geek Mo membership where you can learn everything you need to know about React Native. Also, if you're interested, there's a link to our Discord. You become a member of our Discord, you can reach out to me directly. There's a React Native contest, and there's also React Native giveaways. So I strongly advise you to check that out. Now, the title of this video is, are, we, are developers losing their jobs? Well, the short answer is no. Um, the reason I bring this up is because I was watching a YouTube video. I can't remember the, the name of the guy that actually created this video, but he was talking about how the recession is going to impact developers and um, how companies are letting go basically some employees, some major Fortune 500 companies are letting go employees. And my response to his video is no. The reason it is no is because you work as a software developer. Software developer is one of the highest paid positions in the world and is also one of the most high demand positions in the world. And I think that's regardless of what type of engineer, which type of software engineer you are, whether you're front end, back end, or if you're mobile. Now, does that mean that you're not going to get laid off? There's a good chance you will get laid off. But because you're a software developer, it'll be easy for you to find a job. I was actually offered a job from a company, I want to say about six months ago, about six months ago, I was offered a job from a company in the Netherlands. Now, what that tells you about remote work is that it's not just in America, typically in America, we being remote developers from India or parts of Eastern Europe or South America, but now we have European, uh, European companies reaching out for American developers, and that's game changing. You know, for me personally, there was a time when I actually managed two engineers in India. I was, I was working, what were we? We were contracting developers from this company called uh, Zico. Yeah, I believe it's called Zico in Boston. So we were, we were contracting developers from this company called Zico, and the developers were located in India. And for the most part, that's how remote development has been for a long time. I wanna say since the software engineering, since the web and the internet has become what it is today, we've been doing a lot of work remotely. But now it's changing to the point where an American developer can work somewhere in Europe. I also worked for a company in uh, England before called Babylon Health. And that company, man, I, I was excited because I was actually, it's my first time working internationally. And um, I like the English accent. It's pretty, you know, I think it's pretty funny. So it was pretty cool to um, work with people from that side of the world, man, and just see how lax they were. I remember I was in like meetings and people were drinking beer during the meetings. Also, people were dressed to the T. So that was all pretty awesome to see as well. My point is, is that if you're a software developer, you really don't have to worry about losing your job during a recession. If anything, if you aren't a professional React Native, well, a professional developer in general, then, and you're interested in software development, which I'm assuming you are if you're watching this channel, I strongly advise you to, to get on that fast. You don't have to enroll in our membership, but there's plenty of other types of courses, books, routes you can go. I don't advise you to do a boot camp because they are too damn expensive, but if that's the route you go, so be it. But I strongly advise you, if you want to have any kind of recession proof, to get into software development today. So I already touched base on the recession and I touched base on remote work. Another thing you need to keep in mind is, yes, AI is blowing up and there's always going to be something new. But because there's something new, that means that there's always going to be a need for developers. You know, when I first started on mobile development, React Native didn't exist. Now React Native exists and there's a whole nother job market for React Native. Eventually, there's going to be something just as good as React Native. There's going to be something just as good as React. It's going to be something just, just as good as Angular, if not better. My point is that software is evolving at a ridiculous rate today. So nothing's really set in stone. But because it's evolving, that means that there's always going to be manpower. A computer cannot do everything. And you're going to need new engineers and people who are willing to actually get in those fields. What I like about software engineering is not something that you can go to college for. In college, they don't teach you how to be a software developer. In college, what they do, most colleges, most colleges, I can't say, speak for like MIT or something like that. But most colleges, what they do, they'll pick a standard programming language like Java because nobody gives a shit about Java. They'll give you something like that where it just, it never changes, pretty static language, and they can teach you the concepts of software development. The concepts mean like how to search for data, how to manipulate data, how to do a loop, how to loop through data. 
but no most comp most most colleges do not teach you about react they don't teach you about react native they don't teach you about swift or ios development or android development and who knows what else so because of that the competition for employment is very low in order for you to actually become a developer in these fields you're going to have to invest a lot of your personal time into becoming a software developer and that's why the rate of pay is so high they're actually trying to encourage like more kids more girls more just Americans in general to entertain software development because it's not something that you can just go to school for. They're actually introducing kids to it at a really young age now and they have all these programs for it. But you, you really, it only takes about six months to a year. And the people who do the best are the people who are interested in it. I mean, honestly, if you're not interested in software development, you're gonna get burnt out. But it is a very good route to go. For me personally, you know, what I did, there was a point where I was working two software developer jobs, you know, when I was really like in debt and trying to figure things out. I got, I paid off everything I needed to pay off and some. I like saved up about, I want to say over 50K. And that's because, and it took me no time to really do that, working two jobs as a software developer. And that's something that you could easily do. Just imagine how, imagine if you had 100K in your bank account just for savings, for a rainy day or for whatever else you wanted to do. I'm telling you, it would relax your mind so much. If you get laid off or if there was like the bills were a little bit high or you're a little low on your account, you wouldn't have to worry. And that's what I'm trying to express to you is that there's a, there's a lot of opportunity out there. It's just it's there for the taking and you just have to reach out and grab it. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in becoming a professional software developer or professional React Native developer, there's a link in the description to the Geekmo membership. It'll teach you everything you need to know about React Native. And then also make sure you follow our Discord. In our Discord, you can reach out to me directly. Any kind of questions you have around React Native, I'm more than happy to help you with that. Also, like I said, there's going to be React Native contests and React Native giveaways. So you really need to check that out. But anyways, thank you for watching and I'll, ch I'll check you next time. Peace.